Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we're taking a look at William Byron's 2021 Exalta Chevy Camaro. This is the first of the 2021 Elites uh, that we'll be taking a look at today. Um, so we're going to be taking a look at this one and we're going to have uh, later on today the 164th counterpart for it. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get into it here. So 2021 looks like nothing's changed box-wise. We're going to be looking at the same style box. Uh, you know, obviously they have the new uh, flap here where it's got the you know the different style so that's a little different i mean but we've got those on some of the 2020s so that's not really a huge deal um and again other than that we're looking at the same exact box style let's go ahead and look at our quantities here so we're looking at 381 for the exalta elite on this car all right let's go ahead and get nice and up close with this one here so this car is going to be a matte finish we've got a matte black color um and then we've got the kind of a decal matte uh, color for the rest of this so the red the yellow the green and the blue all decaled in matte uh, In terms of you know, it's not glossed over uh, so you can see there we got cup series. There's our yellow number 24 I absolutely love getting the yellow 24 back on this car. I don't like the white 24 or the blue 24 I just think this the 24 car looks best when the 24 is yellow and this is obviously exactly right where it needs to be so um you can see we got our again yellow 24 we got the blue stripe on the bottom the green stripe in the middle yellow going across the top uh we got william byron up there on the name rail exalta over here on the left rear corner panel along with liberty university we got our ethanol ring over on the b post we've got exalta acorns freightliner mac tools siemens and cincinnati also we got valvoline on the c post back there uh, we get to the back of the car here. You can see we've got Exalta coating systems, and we've got the different Camaro ZL1 1LE logos, you know, yellow 24. All this is a matte black color. It looks very, very sharp. Um, you, know, you can see a little flake of a, a little flake of paint there. It was what that usually is, that little flake there, that is usually off of uh, the edges of the roof flaps or what's underneath them. Uh, being the roof flaps do pop open. So uh, there we got Exalta. Din number is 59. We got Byron on the rear window, and we also have Byron on the front window. That's new to 2021, or returning for 2021, I should say. Uh, right side, we're going to have the same stuff on the right side as the left side, so nothing crazy changes there. Uh, let's go ahead and head back to the rear so we can pop this open and take a look inside. So inside there we have our fuel cell there. You can see I don't think there's any major detail changes in there from the 2020s as far as uh, like different color tubing or anything like that. So everything looks about the same there. On the roof we've got number 24 and Exalta coating systems. We can see the roof flaps pop open there. And then we've got our two antenna holes there as well. Um, as we get back to the front of the car, you can see we've got a nice Exalta logo here. Um, it's all red around the hood. I really actually like the red on this car. The red really does fit well on the hood and up here. Because we all remember the Flames car. It was red. You know, there was a lot of red on the front of the car. Uh, we all remember, you know, the Rainbow car also had a lot of red on the front of the car. So Exalta cars having a lot of red with them um, does, in my opinion, make them really pop. Um, so, yeah, we got Exalta up there on the front. Uh, there's our, our Camaro. You know, I think it was 20... Yeah, it was 2020. So this is the 2020 Camaro. Uh, this is obviously 2021, but this is that newer style Camaro nose, uh, which I suppose has now been out for about a year. So uh, maybe it's not quite as crazy, but um, let's go ahead and take a look under the hood at the engine detail quick. And also, this is a good tight fitting hood, so I have to actually get, get to it and poke it open. That's a good problem to have. I like that. There we go. All right, so I got the hood popped open here. Our engine detail looks like it is the same from 2020. Nothing major changes there. Uh, we got a small little chip on the bottom end of the hood, but that's, I suppose that's, uh, I guess, more normal now. Um, you can see we got our silver engine block, but um, the biggest thing about it is when you tip it over here, you can see my finger. So um, with the ARC, you don't have that option. You can't see because of the way that it's made. Um, you can see there we got these are spots where the different transmission lines ran. They don't run anymore. You can probably install them if you take them out of another car or something. But um, yeah, other than that, we've got uh, you know the rest of the detail underneath here. We got the working and functioning rear suspensions. So you can see that you know rear suspension moving up and down, front suspension moving up and down. Not quite as much travel in the front, but um, overall, it is definitely a sharp looking car. It is one of the I don't know, better William Byron schemes. Unfortunately, his first couple years, man, his schemes have not been great in my opinion, but this one definitely 
definitely is more on par with where we'd want it. So um, I'm definitely a fan of this one here. So uh, anyway, that'll pretty much wrap up this review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also turn on the notification bell and subscribe for more diecast content. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Race Craze, and we'll see you in the next diecast review.